I'm sitting here with head coach Dan Lee, who also helps with the women's cross-country program here at East Carolina. Coach Lee, how has your women's season gone so far, and who have been some of your pleasant surprises so far? Uh, the women's season is going tremendous this year. We've seen seven out of the top eight women have had PRs, uh, and most of them significant PRs. Uh, the upperclassmen are doing a good job of bringing the freshmen along. Amanda Lapp, Tara Wilson, and Brittany Copeland have all run significant PRs. And we've had two freshmen in the top five for most of our important meets, Chelsea Hollingsworth and Bjork Olsen. Uh, Bjork, if she continues to do well, I wouldn't be surprised to see her as the Conference USA Freshman of the Year. So I'm really proud of what the team has done on the whole. And I feel like we can have a chance to see significant improvement over previous seasons. Coach Lee, the women also head to the Conference USA Championship on Monday in Tulsa. What are some of your expectations for that team while you're there? Well, clearly, we're looking to Brittany Copeland to lead the team. She's a, an all-conference and an all-region runner as a sophomore. We registered her last year so she could gain some fitness coming into this year because we knew we'd have a very strong team this year. And I surely expect her to finish very, very high in the conference. Um, there's nobody in the conference that she can't race with. So it's going to come down to who's best on that day. Tara Wilson and Amanda Lapp are two juniors for the team, and they've seen remarkable improvement over the last two years. Uh, comparing where they are now to where they were in high school, they've just improved by leaps and bounds every year, and they're very, very steady and consistent with their performances. So I look to see them contending for all-conference honors as well. Chelsea Hollingsworth and Bjork Olsen have had great freshman campaigns. I would say Bjork's the odds-on favorite for Conference Freshman of the Year as long as everything goes well. But I wouldn't count Chelsea out of, the, out of that hunt as well. So one through five were very strong, and everyone else seems to be improving very well in practice. So this could be the best year we've had in ECU cross-country period. Here again with Kurt Kraft, the program director for track and field and cross-country. Coach, how do you feel about this women's cross-country team and what they've accomplished so far this fall? On the women's side, um, Sarah, you know, it's a little bit, it's, it's kind of a different animal than the, the men's side. On the women's side, we've got a larger group. We've got um, probably more experience on the women's side. So I guess in, in, in wrapping the women's side up, um, you know, we've, uh, we look to certain people to, um, you know, to, to have laid this foundation. Nicole Briggs is one of those ladies that came in five years ago. This is her fifth year, and she has been tremendous on, on helping us establish what we've, um, what we've established to this point with recruiting and, and getting other kids into this program and you know doing the things that it takes to, uh, to lay a foundation. So Nicole Briggs has been injured, um, and she won't be with us this year. But along those lines, uh, Tara Wilson, Amanda Lapp, Brittany Copeland have been a great foundation of this group. Um, they've got maturity, they've got experience. Um, so along with the new freshmen that we've added, we've added a great group, uh, group of freshmen. Um, Coach Lee had mentioned Bjork Olson and also Chelsea Hollingsworth. Chelsea's a local North Carolina girl. Um, so I think with those three main state people I mentioned, along with um, these two freshmen, um, you know, it's been a great fall. And again, we hope that these kids take their work ethic and take their leadership and maturity into the conference meet. and. Um, you know, and come out with something that they've never been able to accomplish, and, and that's with, uh, you know, a higher finish than they've ever finished. And I think the person, you know, in closing that we point to, every team has, has, every team has to have a point guard, every team has to have a quarterback, and uh, Brittany Copeland is a person that's been with this program now for, uh, for four years. Um, so we expect a lot out of her, she expects a lot out of herself, but she has uh, gotten numerous awards, um, not only you know at the conference level and at the region level, but also awards on our own specific track and field and cross country team. So, I think she's the kind of the the one that makes this thing um, tick, and people follow her. So as she goes, I think the rest of the team goes, um, and the program goes as well. So she has high expectations of herself, and uh, so I think with with a great weekend out of her, I think the team will feed off that. Uh, so we you know appreciate the the hard work the ladies have put in um, with the leadership of Brittany Copeland.